In this video, I'm gonna explain to you why I still love buying my comics in single issues. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. Uh, now on this channel, I do comic book unboxings and reviews and really everything in between. So if you're new here and you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell icon, that way you're notified when new videos of mine go live. Now this is another episode of a series I like to call Why I Love, where I just wax poetic about things I love about the comic book industry and hobby. Uh, so again, subscribe, check out the playlist, watch all the other videos, all those things. But anyway, today we're talking about single issues and why I still buy them every single week. Now, a few weeks back, uh, maybe about two months ago at this point, I put out a video and I told you guys why I was cutting down my pull list. Um, the reality is there were way too many books on my list. I was consistently finding myself behind. Uh, I would do videos every week telling you what I was buying and they'd always sound like, hey, I'm behind on this series, but I did like it five months ago. Hopefully I still like it when I get caught up, right? So I was like, all right, it's time to cut trim the fat a little bit, save some money, and get things back to a manageable level. And overwhelmingly, the response to that video when I posted it in different comic groups that I'm in on Facebook, the response was, yeah, man, I cut out my pull list completely. I don't buy single issues anymore. I either buy digital or I go all collected editions. And I was like, wait, wait, hold on. That's not what I said. I just said I was trimming it down a little bit. I'm still, I'm still buying single issues. And I felt like I had to defend myself, right? And so that's what this is. I'm telling you guys why I love buying single issue comic books. And there are a few reasons. The first is that I buy my single issues from my local comic shop. Uh, so shout out to Ultimate Comics Rally um, and the Greater Ultimate Comics Company. They got four locations in the Triangle area in North Carolina. So you can shop there in Raleigh, Cary, Durham, and their brand new location in Crabtree Valley Mall. Uh, so shout out to Ultimate Comics and thanks for sponsoring the channel. Uh, but I shop at Ultimate Comics Raleigh. And one thing I love about the comic book hobby is the community. Um, and the weekly trip to the comic shop is almost always my favorite time of the week. There are times where I'll go to Ultimate Comics and I'll stand there for an hour, 90 minutes, talking with Dan, talking with Casey, uh, looking over new books that came out this week, talking with other customers in the shop about what they're buying and why they like the series that they like, uh, eyeing the variant covers and the rare wall books that I won't be able to afford. I just love the local comic shop experience. And if I decided to go all, to all collected editions, then there's no reason for me to show up at the shop every week because there's no way that there's collected editions that I want every single week of every month. It's just not happening. So the first reason I continue to keep a pull list and buy single issue comic books is because of the community and the shop in general. I love the shopping experience. Now, the next reason is because variants. So listen, all of the schemes that comic book publishers, you know, use to get you to buy comics, they wouldn't use them if they didn't work. And one of the things that I love are variant covers. The most recent example that I can think of was the variant cover for Static Season 1, issue number four. Nick Draper Ivy, who is the artist on the series, did an homage to Akira. And as someone who hadn't even seen Akira, I was like, yo, I love that cover. Had to go to the shop, I had to buy two copies. Uh, this week, as I filmed this, there is a, uh, a variant cover for The Thing, number one, uh, by Lee Bermejo. It just looks dope. And yes, if you buy collected editions, a lot of the times there is a cover art gallery in the back. But how awesome is it to have a dope cover and display it? 
Maybe you'll put it in a CGC case. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll buy a Gator Guard like my friend Laura from Married with Comics. Or maybe you won't. But having variants is just awesome. Like, for example, I'm going to show you a few variants that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks that I just love. All right, so here's an example, right? This one's not even a variant. This is an A cover, but this is the cover for Thor, issue 18. I haven't read a single issue of Donnie Gates' Thor, but somehow I have 18 of them in short boxes in my house. That's crazy, right? But it's Throg. How awesome is this Throg cover? And who's the artist? This looks like Olivia. Yeah, this is Olivier Coipel, one of the best artists in the game in my humble opinion, right? So there's one, right? Here's a Lee Inhyuk variant. This is for Seven Secrets issue number one by Tom Taylor, who has become my favorite artist or artist, my favorite writer. Um, and this series has a lot to do with why he's my favorite writer. Uh, here, this, yeah, this is a, the Batman Adventures Continue season two if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's what this is. Uh, number one, team variant, right? And what is it? Well, it's an homage to every animated appearance of Batman. We've got, you know, the Batman in the style of Bruce Tim right here. We got Batman Beyond. Like, we got Batman Year One. We just got a lot of Batman. And this is just a dope cover. And this is stuff that you just don't get in collected editions. Here's this one. Here's a copy of Detective Comics issue 1035 with a variant cover done by Lee Bermejo, one of the best artists in the game right now. So that's really dope. That's really dope. Um, I love the covers. I love having these individual pieces of artwork to display. Uh, the only downside is instead of going on display because I'm limited on wall space, a lot of them just kind of end up in that stack of short boxes right there. But I love revisiting the covers. It's art is the reason I got into comics. And I just love, I love the cover art. Call me a sucker. I don't care. I mean, what if you were like into spawn covers, but the only way you collected spawn was the compendiums. And then you found out there was no cover art in the compendiums. That's not an exaggeration. There's literally no cover art in the spawn compendiums then what are you going to do, right? So the second reason that I love buying comics every single week is the covers. And now the last reason that I love buying comics every single week is there's nothing like the feeling when you are all caught up on a series and you read the one issue and it ends on a cliffhanger and you're like, wait, what? What's that? What's going to happen next? Like, for example, I just read Amazing Spider-Man issue 77 not too long ago. Uh, issue 78 is out this week, by the way. And in issue 77, it ends, spoiler alert, it ends with Ben Riley Spider-Man getting bit by Morbius. What? Ben Riley is going to be a vampire? What? But we don't know. Is he going to be a vampire? Did something happen? Did something, did his spidey senses, did the suit prevent him from being a vampire? I don't know. I got to wait till I find or read issue 78 to find out. So when you are caught up on your comic books, reading them weekly, in my opinion, is such a fun way to build anticipation. And I love reading the story in these little single issue sized bite-sized chunks. The only time that doesn't work is when the author or the writer decides to decompress the storytelling a little bit too much. Uh, James Tynan tends to be good for that with Batman. I feel like I've been reading the same issue of Batman for three months now. But when the writer does the pacing right, like for example, Tom Taylor on any sort of Elseworlds tale, it's you're excited all the way throughout and the 28 pages or whatever it is feels too short, but just satisfying enough to keep you coming back for more, right? Love the feeling of being on the edge of your seat by reading a single issue of a comic book. Of course, the downside is I tend to rarely be caught up. So here is my stack of unread seven secrets. I've actually read issue seven, but 
I have the full second story arc right here sitting in my to be read pile. And so instead of getting to enjoy it week to week or month to month, I'm going to sit and read this the same way you would read volume two of the trade paperback, which has its, you know, pros and cons. I love that I get a whole story and one, but sometimes you just like the mystery of not knowing what's going to happen just yet and having to wait. Um, so those were the reasons that I love buying single issue comic books. So like I said, the anticipation from week to week, the covers. Oh my gosh. The cover art is amazing. And last, but certainly not least, I love the experience of buying my comics from my LCS, the greatest shop in the land. So shout out once again to Ultimate Comics for sponsoring this and every video on the channel. You guys are awesome. Dude, I've been buying comics from Ultimate Comics for like the last two and a half years. I'll never stop unless like the market really crashes, like some people say it's going to. I don't see that happening. Not with the way I'm stacking up these books. I might be single handedly keeping all these people in business. Probably not, but it's a fun, it's a fun thought, right? Anyway, I hope I convinced you to buy some single issues. It's fun. Hey, I get it. You might not have a wall of short boxes that you can put books in. You might be limited on space. You might not have an LCS within 50 miles of you. I, in that case, I do, I do feel sorry for you. Like my heart literally goes out because I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have an LCS. But, but, but I hope I convinced you guys to try out single issues. Maybe you can buy them online. You can certainly uh, call or start an online pull list with Ultimate Comics if that's what you want to do. I'll leave their information in the description below. But I hope you saw something you liked in this video. If not, hey, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy. And be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.